Hey, this is Chris, Keeping It Real. How you doing today? I want to do a little review of a show that <clears throat> Lee and I have watched the first first season of now. It's called Blown Away. And it's about glass blowing, which we're interested in. There is a Cedar Creek Pottery is about probably about 35, 40 minutes from our house. And we saw a live glass blowing demonstration there a couple of years ago that I did a video of. <clears throat> really interesting. Uh, you know, I, uh, of all the things, you know, I'd be too scared to try glass blowing is probably it. I'd be scared of searing my lungs by breathing in instead of breathing out and then possibly touching something because everything's hot. And so I probably would never really want to try it, but it is fascinating to watch. And so <clears throat> we heard about this series from a friend and so we, uh, we looked it up and watched all the shows. And it's it's an entertaining show. I, I, it's it, it's kind of like I, I keep wanting in my mind to to compare it to Forest and Fire. If you've ever seen Forest and Fire, if you it's, it's a great show. If you haven't seen it, you need to find it. It's on Pete Annie, I think. I can't remember which network it is. Anyway, <clears throat> anyway, you have four contestants, and they, you know, they make an edged weapon of some sort, and, and you know, it's an hour. It's about an hour per show, and so there's a fair amount of, like, I've learned a lot about knife making just by watching the show. <clears throat> you know, they take their time with it. They explain, you know, they go, there's four rounds, and I'm not going to turn this into a forge of fire, but I just wanted to. That's like the baseline. So it's like. It's not only a show that's entertaining to watch, it's also educational, and you, and you learn something, and, you, and, you know. It's like if I ever wanted to make, I know what I need, I know all the tools that I need in order to make a knife, if, if I would really, if I really wanted to. And so, in contrast, while blown away, of course, it's more of an art show, and like, edged weapons are pretty practical, uh, glass is usually... The, the, well, the, the main thrust of this show is, is, is glass as art. It's not, it's not glass as something really usable. Although they have had a couple, um, you know, in the first series, there have been pieces that have been practical, but most of it is just is art. <clears throat> and so, the the strong point of the show is that you know they start out with ten artists. And they worked their way down to one in ten episodes, but you get to see a lot of cool stuff. I mean, it really is neat. And it really is neat to watch. the The two things that I don't like about the show, and I think the main week. Well, there's for, first of all, each episode is only like twenty five minutes long, so there's more than one thing wrong with the show. It's too short. And so you don't really get, I mean, I'm not looking for like in-depth biographies of everyone, but it would be nice to know a little bit about them, like where they're from. <laughs> you know, have them sit down for like 30 seconds and you know, tell, tell us about, you know, your life as a, as a glassmaker or whatever, you know. Uh, yeah, that's one thing I like about Forge and Fire. When you get to the final round, you get to go to the home forges of the people. So it's like, you get an idea what they're all about. So you don't get that. The episodes are too short. You don't really find out anything about the characters. And one of the major weaknesses of of the show is that, you know, they're sitting there doing all this stuff and none of it is ever explained. Not nothing is explained. And so what's that tool? What's what's that tool's name? What's that tool do? How does that work? I mean, you wa you're watching them do it, and so you kind of like, well, he's got that something or other in his hands, and they're spinning it around, and blah, 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 but I don't really know what it is. I don't know what the purpose of it is. Well, why did you use that tool instead of another tool? I, you know, how hot's the furnace? I have no idea. What kind of furnace do you need? What, you know. 
And so that to me is a big weakness of the show because I haven't, I, I don't know any more about glass blowing now than I did when, before we started the series. Except there's a lot of things possible with glass blowing that I didn't realize. That you can get pretty sophisticated. But, but again, there's no, what's the, how do you do that? The other, the other thing is basically what they do on the show is they, is they make the main elements of whatever they're making, and then they throw it in the annealer, which isn't even, even well, I don't even know if it's really explained what an annealer is. I know what it is. It's, it's, it's something you put glass into that, that cools the glass very gradually so it doesn't crack, but I don't think that's ever really wants, you know, nobody ever explains that. And so you've got that, and then you've got the presentation, you know, the last part of the show. And oftentimes, you know, there's like some assembly required for a lot of this stuff. And they don't show you that. It's just like, well, here it is, it's finished now. And so you're kind of like, well, how, what, huh, what, you, what? This piece, you made this piece for, oh, okay. But I, there's no, right. It's like, it's like watching half a TV, having, watching half a movie, and I said, well, yeah, now we're just going to go straight to the straight to the climax. And we're going to leave out all the all the other parts in between. That's kind of that's kind of what it's like. And the last thing that I don't like about the show is that there's only one real. Well, gen, well, what it is? There's a host who who is not a glass expert, from what I can tell. Doesn't have any background in glass. He's just he's just there to be the host and keep the show moving. Then they have, well, in season one, they had an associate professor at Cal State who, I, I don't know what her discipline was. I, I should have paid more attention to that. But she's obviously, it's some kind of art uh, discipline. Uh, and I don't know if it's like specialized in glass. What, but she, she was like really the expert, right? And then they have another judge, but that one is filled by different people every week. And the, and the thing that I really didn't like about that is that these other people generally were not didn't know anything about glass either. Like there was a cook one week. Uh, there was a dancer one week. The thing, you know, it's like, so they're not really, to me, they're not qualified to judge what they're what they're at being asked to judge. And now, of course, the judging is not even another thing that's not explained. It's like there's no criteria. And I understand being an art show, mostly an art show. It's, you can you could you could judge technique, and I really wish they would. Uh, that would be nice, you know. But I don't think technique. Well, I guess it does. To be fair, yeah. But but this, it's not it, it's not a it's like well what what makes it so hard? Yeah, like the winner made a human foot out of glass, and I can't remember if that was I don't think that was the last round, but it's the next to last round. But it was really it's like how did you do that? Oh, wow, that took a lot of technical skill. I appreciated that. <coughs> The other person made it. It was the round. It was, it was next to the last round, <clears throat> and one of the other contestants made a hand, which was walking like this. It didn't, you know, it didn't pop. You know, obviously, it was a moment in time of that hand walking. Uh, so yeah, very. You know, but again, how how did you do that? And and who's and who's really? I mean. You've got three people who are in charge of judging, but only one really is knowledgeable in a very in a real way about. So you go back to Forge and Fire, right? You go back to Forge and Fire. And, well, not everybody's a bladesmith, but you know you've got a master a master blacksmith that's you know universally recognized as the best in his field, right? You've got a, a historic weapons recreation specialist who obviously is recognized as one of the best in this field. And then you've got Doug Marcada, who's like an edged weapon, you know, like, here's what you do with what we're making, you know. 
And so, it, so, and in even the host, you know, has, of course, by now he does have, Will Willis has that experience, but, you know, even when the show started, you know, it's like he was special, from up when, no, no, he was a ranger, and then he was in the Air Force doing uh, rescue stuff, and so it's like, well, you know, he knew, well, he, he knew what a, not a good knife was, right, and so, all, everybody on Forge and Fire is an expert in a different facet of weapon, edged weapons, but here you, in, in, in Blown Away, you have one person that's really like the expert, and the other two uh, are just taking up space. <clears throat> so, I know that's a lot of negativity. How, how could they, you know, what would make the show better? In my mind, what they need to do is they need to, they need to go on a format, a longer format. You know, if you want, if you if you must have ten people, which is a lot. All all having all that you, you like, they ought to have like some elimination rounds early, like some just some basic. Can you do this stuff? Although maybe they weed them out before the canister. So it would it would be good to see more head to head, like a bracket maybe. But definitely long, the episodes need to be longer. There needs to be more explanation of the technical detail of what it takes to do this stuff. You know, even if they just took a minute and said, well, you know, here's what this guy's doing. Here's what you got to know how to do. You know, that's what I want to know. I want to know procedure. I want to know like, well, here's how you do this. How do you you know, it's, it's, it's not very satisfying to just have somebody make something and say, well, here it is. And they need to have, so, longer format, more explanation, and they need to get, they, they probably need to add a judge, and they need to have the judges, at least with some kind of peripheral involvement in glass blowing. Because I don't think it's fair to the contestants to have their work being judged by an artist, even if it's an artist, but it's not an artist in their field. It, it needs to be an artist in their field. Those are the only good judges. Otherwise, you might as well just, you know, have a Twitter poll. You might as well, right? I mean, why don't they just do that? But I wouldn't like that. So they need to get, like, a couple a couple people who... I mean, keep the host, of course, because the host will learn something, and then they'll be a better judge. But that's fine. But uh, they need to have, like, maybe four or five judges. Well, and there needs to be more interaction between the judges, because they kind of try to do that between the judges and the contestants. But it's like, I think they allocate, like, 60 seconds to that every episode. I mean, that's, that's how cramped. I mean, it's just like, boom, 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 boom. They spend more time talking about what they're going to do than what they're doing almost. It's, but will I watch it again? Well, yeah, I will because I'm interested in it, and maybe they'll make it better. And uh, but it's always interesting to see what people can come up with. I mean, it's really amazing things. I just wish they would explain how how it is they did that, and and don't just jump from you know it's like oh we're throwing this in the annealer now to this big this big assembly. I mean, because a lot of the stuff that is made requires assembly. It's like, well, no, we want to, I want to know everything. Yeah, I, and I think most people would. So I don't know if they're trying to, you know, save money or whatever, but, yeah, that's not the place to save money. All right, wow, I have gone I mean, 13 minutes. <clears throat> so, I don't know, three out of five stars altogether. I mean, that's a lot of negatives, but it's not like, it's, it's not a crappy show. It's a good show. It just, there's, it could be, it could be so much better. So Netflix for next season. How about let's get it together. Make the show longer. More judges in the field to judge the, the to, more judges from that field to judge the work of the contestants. And let's go a little bit longer. I mean, I know you've got, I know there's been a lot of footage left on the floor. It, it ain't going to cost you any more money to make each episode 45 minutes or an hour. So it's like, that's a no-brainer to me. All right, there you go. See ya constructive criticism. If you have any questions or comments, leave in the section below. What do you think about the show? <coughs> do you agree or disagree with my critique? 
I thought it was pretty fair. Man. You know, I took the time to critique the show that they don't take to make the show. There you go. That's fairness. All right. Leave a question or comment in the section below. Like and subscribe. We appreciate what you do. We'll see you on the next video.